Today is Monday. I'm heading down to Bay Area, aka Silicon Valley. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm meeting some of the content creators while I'm there. I'm gonna be there for one week and hopefully I'll get to take you along with me while I'm there. So yeah, I'll see you on the plane. <laughs> For those of you who travel for work, you would know that travel days are not really your days off. You actually still have to work. So I ended up working in the morning and then I got to the airport early to do some more work. And then of course, I'm one of those people who fall asleep on the plane as long as I don't have caffeine in my system and my eye mask and neck pillow and all the cushy gear with me, I can fall asleep very easily. Okay, quick room view. I feel like my lens is dirty, but whatever. It's cute. the outside 7 30 i have dinner plans with my friends we have a reservation at one of the mediterranean restaurants which i'm really excited because the food looks really really good the shampoo that i had decided to explode in my toiletry bag <laughs> so i have to like clean it up oh my god not what i thought i would be showing you this is my outfit for dinner it's too much leather but this is the only jacket i brought with me the food was 10 out of 10, exactly what I needed after a long day. I went back again to the same restaurant two days later. It was so good, I loved it. Uh, good morning, it's 5.30 a.m. Today's plan is, since I woke up so early, I couldn't sleep well, uh, I'm gonna go out for a hot girl walk, get my steps in, and then I have a gym class at seven to eight, then at eight, I'm gonna be coming back to a hotel um, and then get ready for work. Uh, today I'm working from the Mountain View campus, which is the Silicon Valley, which is the headquarter. And I'm so excited because there's so many things to see and I'm so excited to take you along with me. I made the hotel coffee, which is disgusting because none of the places around this hotel are open right now, but I'm grateful to have coffee. <laughs> so let's leave it at that. I just finished, uh workout i went to the gym i was on the wait list and it's my lucky day because i got off the wait list and uh, i just came back home took a quick shower and now i'm meeting my co-workers for breakfast okay my favorite spray i don't know if you can see it this is literally my favorite i'm on my second bottle i'm obsessed with this it smells so good and that's it now all I have to do is figure out to pack my backpack and let's go In the afternoon, I was scheduled to do a dry run for the talk that I was going to deliver the next day in front of 500 people. Yes, totally nerve wracking. As class valedictorian, <laughs> where for the very first time I shared my story in front of 3000 people of becoming the first female in my family to graduate college. Also wanted to show you this cool deck that I found that nobody's around so it's great for filming because i don't have to worry about getting people's head in the videos look at that i just finished the rehearsal and now i'm going to sit down and do some work we have a team thing in the evening so i'm planning to go back to the hotel and change and get ready for the team event later tonight this turned out to be actually a great spot because i ended up doing a good amount of heads down work and was able to finish a lot of things that were on my to-do list for this week if you want to get a flavor of what my work is like and the type of work i do i actually recently recorded a day in life video where i go a lot more in depth in terms of the type of work i do and how my day typically looks like oh my god look who's here you. hi hi <laughs> how are you say hi to my youtube Good to see y'all. This is Maddie. So what do you do, Maddie? Oh, I'm a software engineer. I work at Google and uh, I guess 
Working Mountain View. And we're in Sunnyvale right now. Yay! And we met through Instagram. Yes. So we're setting up for yeah. some so contact always meet strangers on the internet. It turns yes. out very well. How do people find you? Uh, oh, right. I have Instagram. So Madeline.m.zang is my Instagram. And yeah, I'll also be on Sundas's Instagram doing collabs soon. So yeah. Yeah. So we're recording some videos right now. And so find us there. Yay. We'll see you on the reels. On the topic of coding, I wanted to share this free introduction to Python ebook, which is a beginner guide for learning Python, especially for data analysis. The ebook is created by HubSpot who is also sponsoring this portion of the video. The ebook covers fundamental topics such as lists, dictionaries, while loops, as well as important libraries for data analysis such as matplotlib, numpy, and pandas. It also shows you good code and bad code and gives you coding snippets that you can copy, paste, and plug and play. I'm linking the ebook in the description below. It's available to download for free. Now, let's go back to the video. This was not in my plans today, but it looks like I am currently visiting LinkedIn headquarters which was like a six minute drive from me and I wasn't planning to come. And this is the risky stuff that I do that you should not. <laughs> uh, one of my followers pinged me on Instagram because the, I was posting that I'm here. So they invited me to visit LinkedIn's office. And I said, yes, I don't say yes to everybody, but I got a good vibe. <laughs> so, and this person is also in data science. So I'm here. I just checked in and waiting. I'll give you a small tour. But yeah, we're gonna record some content. And yes, yeah, some of you are gonna say I'm always working. Yes, I am always working. So I'm currently at the LinkedIn headquarter meeting Maria. <laughs> I'm a machine learning engineer at LinkedIn, which is right behind me. Yes. And um, I'm having a fangirl moment finally <laughs> meeting Sundar. Tell tell them how we met. You just you just messaged me on Instagram, and I said yes. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> Actually, and this time I was like, she has to reply. She's in Bay Area, I'm in Bay Area, and I can just invite her to my office. That will be a great time. Yeah. So the trick was to invite me to visit the headquarters because I will not say no or free lunch. I will come every time. Yeah. But yeah, look at this campus. It's I so pretty. I lured in with free lunch though, but yeah. by the time she came, the lunch was over. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> you use good selling points. I was sold already. <laughs> So we're just like setting up because we're going to record some Instagram videos. Uh, we're going to talk about machine learning and how in the world she actually got a job. Afterwards, Maria took me to give me a tour of the LinkedIn headquarter. And of course, she was so excited that she forgot I was there. <laughs> in the evening, we had team event. And honestly, I was so exhausted by the end of the day but I'm so happy I went. Good morning, today is Wednesday and it's actually the day I'm going to be speaking in front of 500 people. I'm not nervous, I don't know why I was thinking I would be more nervous. This is my outfit for today. I did that rehearsal yesterday and I feel really good. Um, so it's currently 8 a.m. and my talk is at 1 p.m. So follow along if you want to see if I screwed up in front of 500 coworkers or not. Uh, my only thing is, and I think I've said it before, like I don't want to cry on stage. So let's see if it happens. This is my full outfit. Um, I don't know how I feel. I was thinking like taking the blazer off, but then I was like, um, I don't know. I'm going to be on the stage. I think this is good. This is good enough. All right, let's grab my badge and let's go. This is me on stage at the graduation ceremony as the class valedictorian. <laughs> Where for the very first time, I shared my story in front of 3,000 people, how I became the first female in my family to graduate college. Yesterday, I did give my talk. It went really well. Uh, I just, I was just so exhausted. I think I was like holding up energy until then. And after that, I just crashed. I left the offsite and I sat on a couch and I took a tiny nap, like I was so exhausted. But it went well. I had so many people approach me after the talk and thank me for sharing my story, which is what I love about like sharing my story with the audience like, 
Google because they're always so gracious with their compliments. I have shared my story in other places, other audiences as well, but nothing can match the energy and the response that I get from Googlers. And honestly, I feel so blessed to be able to share my story in a safe space where I feel comfortable bringing my whole self to work. It's rare. Uh, anyways, I'm currently, I'm, the reason I'm out of breath is because I'm running to the gym. I am on a wait list. Let's see if I get off the wait list. I'm on the wait list and uh, I'm walking to the gym, which is like 30 minutes walk for me. And I'm already late, so I'm gonna get there like two minutes before the class starts. Fingers crossed I get in. And yeah, it's so pretty outside. The weather is 50 degrees. It's amazing. I love it. Okay, I'll see you at the office. I did not get off the wait list <laughs> so I ended up walking 90 minutes instead so now I just got ready it's 9 a.m. and I'm gonna head to office so hopefully I'll be there by 9 15 because I'm so close with office this is my outfit for today let's go I spent most of the day Thursday working at the office. I did not get to film a lot, but then after work, I went to go explore the campus on my own. This building that you just saw is called Google Plex and it's one of the newer buildings and it has really cool architecture. And in the similar vicinity, like walking distance, there are like all these cool bike racks and androids and so on. These things are limited to the headquarter. I work in the Seattle campus and I, don't see all these cool androids and bikes and so on. So it's always fun coming to the Bay Area. This shot that you're about to see is filmed by one of the Google Store employees. Basically, he saw me walking solo with my camera and he turned out to be a camera enthusiast and he was like, why don't you give me the camera and walk around and I will film you. It turned out to be a really, really cool shot. This is the end of the day Thursday. It was a long day again. I feel like my social battery has been exhausted, especially I feel like after COVID, we're not, all of us are not. Well, I, okay, I'm, I don't know why I'm speaking for everybody, but I, it's difficult to like socialize, especially all day. And that's what we did the last three days, which was again, like so grateful to be able to do that. Um, but I'm also exhausted. So my plan is to go home, get some rest, and then my husband is coming in the evening, flying down from Seattle, and we're gonna spend the weekend here, but I will end the, this week in my life here. Tomorrow is actually my day off. I'm taking the day off. So thank you for watching, and let me know in comments if this is the type of content you enjoy watching. I will do more of it. It was obviously a lot of work for me, but I would love to do more of it if you enjoy it. Bye.